Here's Mitt Romney trying to figure out the name of that thing that we Americans call a donut. Garrett, would you see that one of those chocolate, uh, uh, <laughs> those we'll chocolate goodies find its way to our lives? <laughs> These haven't been approved for consumption by political candidates. <laughs> well, I'm going to be doing some testing on that one right there. <laughs> That was Martian Mitt Romney at the Main Street Cafe in Council Bluffs, Iowa, for a staged roundtable discussion last Friday. Romney, who would never mistake a brioche for a croissant, may have lost votes in the Main Street Cafe because, according to Diane Bauer, the owner of the cafe, the Romney staff broke stuff while setting up, including a keepsake from her father. She told a local TV station that Mitt Romney didn't even bother to say hello to her. When that story broke, Romney gave Bauer a call to try and smooth things over. He responded, well, I'm sorry that your tablecloths got ripped off, watered up and thrown in the back room. And I took it as a mocking. Is that how he's going to treat others? You know, is he, if he gets in office, is he going to be that way to us little people? It just leaves you a bad taste. You don't want to have him back. This is a president who uh, doesn't understand, I don't think, exactly what the American people are experiencing. He needs to sit down with folks. I'm not sure about these cookies. <laughs> they, don't, they don't look like you made them. Did you make those Those cookies you didn't, did you? No, no. They came from the local uh, 7-Eleven bakery or wherever. (laughs)